Hey what's going on guys? Did you know that this device can convert your car's infotainment system into fully functional Android operating system? Allowing you to watch movies on Netflix, YouTube, or to any streaming apps. This is the Car ABC H5 CarPlay AI Box. A very powerful device that will effortlessly transform your wired CarPlay into wireless Apple CarPlay or wireless Android Auto. No installation required, simply plug the device into your car's USB port and you're ready to go. Hey guys, today we're going to take a look at this product from Car ABC. This is the H5 CarPlay AI Box. Let me unbox this product first and later on let's check its features and capabilities to help you guys decide if you're planning to buy a CarPlay AI Box like this in the future. And if you guys have decided to buy this product after this review, I will leave the link in the description or in the comment section below. CarPlay boxes nowadays are one of the trending car accessories in the market because of its capability to install your favorite apps right into your infotainment system. Alright guys, so in this box, we got user manual. We got a simple guide on how to plug the device into your car. And of course, we got this H5 CarPlay AI box. We also got three cables inside the package so we can connect the device into our car system. One USB Type-C to Type-C. We have one USB Type-C to Type-A and one bypass power cable. You can use this if your car doesn't have enough voltage to power up the device. And lastly, we have this SIM ejector pin so you can open the SIM tray located at the bottom of the H5 CarPlay box. So let's take a closer look on this device. This unit is made of plastic with crystal-like material with different colors of LED inside that will light up when it's powered on. At the bottom, it has mini HDMI port you can use this if your car has headrest monitors so you can project your videos in two screens. This CarPlay AI box has TF card expansion slot up to 128GB and at the bottom it has nano SIM card tray that support 4G data connection so you can enjoy surfing the internet. And on the right side, it has USB Type-C port to power up the device. At the back of this unit, it has heat fence with a stripe design and a metal finish in the center. This device has built-in dual Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, and GPS. It has 4GB of RAM and a 64GB of ROM or storage. It's running on Android 12 with a Qualcomm 6125 octa-core CPU. Also, it's a 3-in-1 system that you can switch seamlessly between the Android system, wireless CarPlay, and wireless Android Auto. Alright guys, now let's test this device by connecting it to my car. But before that, let me just insert my nano sim card so this device will have internet connection. You can use the included sim ejector pin to open the sim card tray. But if you guys don't have sim card, that's not a problem because you can always use its built-in Wi-Fi and connect to your mobile phone's personal hotspot. Okay, now the sim card was already inserted. Let's plug the USB Type-C cable to the device and the other end to my car's infotainment system. The device is now powering up, as you can see here. Let's just wait for a few seconds until it converts my head unit into full Android operating system. Now the LED light comes on and should boot up right away. Okay, so the Android operating system is now starting up. And there you go. So here's the screen layout of the car ABC H5, which dynamically adjusts to fit your car screen size, allowing for more customization. There's actually two layouts in here. You can change the layout or the style of the home screen by just going to the display settings, then launcher style, and select the style number 2. So basically the difference here is that it has navigation map widgets right from the home screen. You can see directions without opening the Google Maps. And you have a quick access of the apps on the side. Okay, so tapping the shortcut will show all the installed apps on the device. One more feature I will show you is that it has floating button for easy access of useful shortcuts like home, back button, split screen, and many more. Just switch this toggle on if you want to use the feature so that it will show all these shortcuts. Alright guys, another cool feature I will show you here is that this device has ambient lighting. 
You can tap the center button to change the ambient lighting in different colors, just like what I'm doing right now. So as you can see here, the light changes right away when I tap the button. Or you can just tap a specific color you want on the side just like that. So as I was saying a while ago, if you guys don't have SIM card for your internet connection, you can always use the built-in Wi-Fi feature, just turn it on, and have it connected into your mobile phone's personal hotspot by selecting the name of the device you want to connect to. Having Car ABC H5 CarPlay AI box is just like having an Android tablet in your car. Customize your experience by installing your favorite apps on Google Play Store. Say goodbye to boredom during long drives and make memorable moments with friends and family. Play games in a safe place, in the parking lot, or while waiting for someone. So I try to install and play some games and I can say the quality of the graphics is nice and it's very responsive as well. This CarPlay AI box has a Qualcomm 6125 octa-core chipset to help deliver a faster processing and a smoother operation. Unleash the power of entertainment with streaming apps. This device has pre-installed Netflix, Hulu, Disney Plus, and YouTube for you to enjoy watching movies or videos right in your car screen. So right here, I am playing a video. Let's see how this device will perform while playing a high definition videos like this. Let's try to forward the video. And it does play right away. The color and the texture of the graphics is very nice and clear as you can see here. But keep in mind that it also depends on your internet connection speed. If the speed of your internet connection is slow, the graphics and the resolution of the video you might see is not good as this one. Alright guys, now let's test the navigation using the pre-installed Google Maps right in the home screen. And let's see whether it's going to work or not. So I will be navigating to a nearby coffee shop. Okay, so let's press start to navigate. Avenue. Okay guys, so let's buckle up first. I will be going this way. Let's see if it's going to reroute. Well, the direction should change and give the right way. So let's see here. Okay, nice. So far, so good. Turn left onto Jefferson Avenue. While I'm driving, I like listening to music. So let's play a non copyrighted song on Spotify. And let's see if the Google Maps will stop or it will still continue navigating on the background. So I'm gonna play this one. And yes, the navigation is still there. Three hundred meters, turn right onto Shepherd Street. Turn right onto Road 64 North, Inkster Boulevard. So if you guys are still watching this video and you have decided to buy this product after this review, the link is in the description and in the comment section below. Alright guys, so we're here at the parking lot of the coffee shop and I would say the navigation maps did very well. Okay, so one of the major feature of this device is that it will convert your factory wired carplay into wireless. Just tap the multiplay app and follow these simple steps. On your iPhone, go to settings, turn on Wi-Fi. Now go back and turn on your Bluetooth. Mine is already turned on. Now tap this AI box Bluetooth profile. Tap pair to allow Bluetooth pairing request. Tap allow to sync contacts. And now it's connecting. Lastly, tap the use CarPlay button to continue. And there you go, it's now fully connected to Apple CarPlay wirelessly.
And by the way, this is just a one-time setup and you don't need to do this all over again. So every time you enter into your car, just tap the Multiplay app and it will connect to Apple CarPlay right away. Now this time, let's connect my Android phone to Android Auto wirelessly. Tap the Multiplay app. Go to your phone's system settings and then turn on your Wi-Fi. Now turn on Bluetooth. So basically what we are doing right now is the same steps as we did on Apple CarPlay. This is also a one-time setup so you don't need to do this all over again. Okay, so let's tap the AI box Bluetooth profile. Tap pair to allow Bluetooth pairing request. Then tap yes to allow access on your contacts. Okay, so let's wait for a few seconds right here while both devices is establishing a connection. And there you go. My Android phone is now connected to Android Auto wirelessly. So this is the cool walk UI of the Android Auto. Tap this app drawer to view all your compatible applications. And if you want to go back to the previous launcher, just tap the exit button and it will return to this home screen. If you want to go back, just tap the multiplay app again and it will return to Android Auto home screen. So there you have it guys, this is the Car ABC H5 CarPlay AI box. It's available on the Car ABC website, the link is in my description and in the comment section if you want to get one. So that's pretty much it guys, if you like this review, please hit the like button and if you haven't following this channel yet, please subscribe and turn on the notification bell to keep you updated every time I post a new video. So thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you again next time.